I like lime in my Corona, doll. It's not a lime. I like lime juice in my Corona. In Corona. In my Corona. No, no. We're not sponsored by Corona, by the way. But if I you guys like, want to sponsor us. I just like Corona and lime. It's good, you know. Corona a day will keep the Hispanics away. <laughs> How does that make sense? Because Corona is a Mexican drink. Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't that bring them to no, your like, yard? You put the Corona on the porch, so they come, they take it, and they don't attack you. Oh, so it's like a peace offering. Exactly. But Mexicans aren't a violent people. You can't prove that. Well, I'm sure some Mexican people are, but they're not like, as a race, violent. What was the Mexican Inquisition about? Tell me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Uh-huh. Well, it was more or less a joke, because it's called the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> So I thought calling it this, the Mexican Inquisition would sound funny. It wasn't. And also not make sense. It wasn't. Hey, whatever, dude. Drink your beer, you fucking alcoholic. Yeah, eat your combos, you fucking real teaser. <laughs> you fucking pleb. Uh, so, our friend here, and Austin and I, are going to go adventuring over to cringeblog.tumblr. This is my pony! Would you strongly prefer to go out with someone of your own skin color slash racial background? Yes. The key word is prefer here. Asians, and especially ones from the Philippines, are magical. Is that what that's supposed to be? That guy? I think his fedora is the one doing the talking. His fedora's talking? I'm pretty is sure. The fedora app, is the fedora responding? Well, he obviously works at a water bottle. Plant. Maybe they just get thirsty there. It's not obvious. So he's just a very thirsty guy. And or they're just maybe there's a lot something. of people that work there. Like, he looks like he's in a break room. There's a microwave. It's probably just in case the water runs out. Could be, because he's so thirsty. Because yeah, the fedora takes a lot of hydration. <laughs> the fedora needs a lot. Pizza plus Joe, forty-two, Mission District, forty-two, DWM wants a man to come over and split a deep dish pet and extra cheese. Pep. Anyone who calls pizza like a pepperoni pep. Yeah. I've, it's already you crazy. don't trust him. You can't. Yeah, trust no. Him, like anyone's like, hey, you want to come over to my house for a pep? I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? It's with you? large and very greasy. Come over and rub a slice on abs and chest. Ew, dude. This guy doesn't have abs. Look at him. No, I think he's. You can I, tell by his arm. I think he's saying, come over and like rub it on your on your chest and abs. So, so he just wants to watch. Yeah, he wants to watch that. I'll come over and put pizza on your. Well, let's, let's finish it. Let's okay, give him a chance. Okay, okay. Let me see your ripped yeah, see, arms and legs the other covered guy. in sauce and cheese. Yeah. Put your legs up on the couch. Let me help you rub pizza in your pits after a hard day. You want pizza pits? I'm your man. Reply with your fave toppings and I will see what we can do. <clears throat> Hashtag romance. I mean, I like pizza too, man, but... Uh, well, that just sounds like like, I, like you're going to become a pimple. <laughs> like, yeah, right? It just like, sounds oh, yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to like grab your head and squeeze it and it's just going to burst like Have a you pimple. ever watched Invader Zen before? Uh-huh. There's an episode... Where Zim, he, he has a, so a the thing of soap, and there's he rubs on his face, and it turns out there's bacon in it, and so he ends up just rubbing bacon on his face, and he gets this huge fucking zit. So right. anytime any amount of grease is like compared to rubbing on your skin, I immediately think of that, and I'm like, you're gonna get a zit, you're gonna have pop, papulio, what is it, pastulio, right. and pastulio on the side of your face. So so he's thinking pizza, sexy abs, chest, all that ripness, but Did then it's gonna sexy? get. It, well, let me see your ripped arms and legs. He didn't say sexy. Yeah, but come maybe on. he just wants him to be fit. Maybe. It's like abs, a, chest, ripped arms and legs, but then it's gonna be abs, chest, ripped arms and legs covered in zits. Yeah. And then he's later. gonna tell him to leave because he's unattractive and covered in zits. So think about this, dude. Eat the pizza and chill yeah, with the, the, the ripped man. Or just eat the pizza by yourself. Like, don't, don't make other people suffer because you want I mean, I mean, you're 42 and you're still wanting people to rub pizza on themselves? Still? Like, you? like, it's okay well, if you're 16. You don't just turn 42 and, like, I want someone to come in and rub well, pizza I know, on just, me. The way you said it, like, you're, like and you're still doing, doing this. this. He's been doing this for a while. I don't think there's an age limit on when this is acceptable. <laughs> there, no. But I'm going to say, he didn't start at 42 just to be like, well, I don't want people to come over and, and just, rub pizza on themselves. He's, he's worked at Domino's and, like... Somebody came in on like a hot day and just like tripped and dropped their pizza and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god, you gotta come over to my house, rub, rub, brother. Rub, rub, rub it in, rub the pep in, right? Oh, the Get the pizza arms. pit, the pizza pit, the pizza, pizza pit, pizza pit, pizza pit, please. 
All right, my girlfriend is always trying to sneak pics of me. Oh, because of the reflection, it's not the girl, it's him. And yeah, yeah. yeah there's a setup one. People do this all the time. Yeah, it's like the phone in the foot. Oh, okay. Dibs, she's on my team. What oh. the fuck? <laughs> all the Ferguson news got me horny. I want black dick. Well, they're gonna have to be black to fit into your fucking. What, what, you got two fucking sofas as an ass sticking out? You gotta be a black guy to get in there. Oh my god. god how- See, what it confuses me is when, like, I don't even know how to do- Oh, you're fucking <laughs> filthy woman. <laughs> god damn. Well, that caption, too. All this Ferguson news got me a horny on black dick. Like, you are a troll. You yeah. literally just want attention. Because you can't get any. Look, it's just like, it's, you take those off, your titties literally go to your sides. Like, how is that- <laughs> Look, fuck me, and like, all right, what are you? My homie's lady cheated on him, so we got the bitch in a headlock till she said sorry. Oh, what is that guy doing? Is he like he's holding her dick? Cause he looks like he got it covered. I was gonna say why, like that's abuse. Yeah, I don't even think they know what a headlock is, cause her neck's right there. I guess he literally has her in a headlock. Like usually when you say headlock, it's like around the neck, but he's literally just like on her chin till she said sorry. So it's like. Sorry. Yeah, it's like, sorry. Okay, you're good. Sorry we assaulted you. Yeah, right. You said sorry, we're good. I now. think I found out the reason why she cheated on him. Yeah, seriously. Probably because he abuses her. Probably because he's an abusive prick. Yeah. Who, and also, like, if you're, in what situation, you're like, hey, my girlfriend cheated on me, you wanna, hey, bro, you wanna come with me and beat her up till she says sorry? I'm like, oh, yeah. hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I'll put yeah. that bitch in a chin lock. Seriously, I mean, she can obviously die, but it's cool. Hey, yeah, whatever, dude. It's her fault. When you see a guy actively trying to fix himself up, but you're still a judgmental dickhead. When a guy has bigger boobs than you, that's just mean. Hashtag Jim. Maybe Bro. your boobs should be bigger. You fucking. Yeah. You thought about that? We should you fucking. Eat, you should eat more chicken. I like the the caption. Well, well said. said. You should eat more chicken and suck this dick. Hmm? Yeah. You ever think of that? Yeah, dick like, will make your boobs small. Just based on that side profile of that girl, you know that's she's the fucking the the fifteen year old cheerleader that just blows the jocks. Right. She also looks like one of those uh, angle masters. Oh yeah. Like all her Instagram pictures are from literally one angle that takes her thirty pictures to get right. Yeah. Because she's want to she's want to show the second chin or the 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 hair on her upper lip. Right. And of course, then she's just judging someone who's trying to better themselves. Late Fuck to, you! Late to class because you were giving the 48-year-old gym teacher a handy in the bathroom. Right. Oh, but this guy. But hell, fuck that guy. Fuck this guy. I mean, he's... yeah. I mean, if anything, you should make fun of the fact that he's wearing jeans. I don't know what's <laughs> happening here, hell but yeah. I love it. Oh, oh yeah, Jan, I remember seeing this one. That would... Ooh. Dude, that's, that's why people kill themselves. Ooh. Oh, would God. you rather die or get this chick shit? All over your head. God, dude, I feel, she's the one that's gonna. I suffer. know she's gonna get fucked. So. I want to see another camera angle pointing at her to be like. Yeah, I want to see her face, like her reaction. Is she like laughing? Like, is she? Did she? <laughs> it was on purpose. Like, did she plan? Maybe this? it's a prank. Maybe she was. This, maybe it's like just a. Maybe it's pudding. a social experiment. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, <laughs> Joey Salads, did you put her up to this? Yeah. Maybe she's just seeing how they react if, like, if you got shit on your head, how would you react? It's new social experiment. I wanna know. Shitting on strangers in public. Right. Social experiment, In God. two weeks, that's gonna be on fucking YouTube, I guarantee it. Clearly... Hold on. Hold on. I know you're my little firstborn, but them legs, and the rest of you of cause. I know you're my little firstborn, but you're fucking sexy. That's basically what's that saying. Her dad. That's, I mean, come on. Uh, well, okay, but I see shit like this all the time. I, I, nobody says stuff like that. Like, I know you're my little firstborn. That's way too, like, descriptive. Specific, that yeah. seems like something that, like, either this is a setup scenario so they can get shares, or it's one of those weird daddy dom fetish things yeah. where it's like, you're trying so hard to be specific to, like, let people know you're into weird stuff. Right. Because there, there's no way that that was, like, just... If, even if that dude was a creep, trying to hit on his daughter, he wouldn't say, oh, I know you're my little firstborn, but right. he'd be like, oh, I'm like, like my little girl or something, or like, oh, I know your mom didn't give you those legs or something. Well, yeah, like and if it, like, what was he expecting to get out of this? Unless they already fuck each other? Yeah. Like, she's not going to be like, oh my god, dad, I'm going to suck your dick. Right. Like, yeah. that's not going to happen. Yeah, that looks like an after put in. Like, right. this is probably just some picture somebody found and then just put that in. Right. Try harder, Tumblr! <laughs> You're not cringy enough for me because <laughs> this guy. 
Oh, hell yeah, dude. I don't see what's cringy about this guy. He looks cool. Yeah, dude. I'd hang out with him. I would totally hang out with him. Look at those mutton chops, dude. This, this dude is probably cooler than half the fucking people that make fun of him. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. Seriously. Well, I, mean, it, I mean, it takes a lot of gold to go out there, too, and do actually something you actually enjoy doing. Right. Rather than just being in the fucking normie and sit at home and judge this dude. Yeah. I was like, he probably, he like, might what, be what, what, what are you judging about this guy? Is it the fact that he like if, if a is hot bigger? Because that's fucking stupid. I was like, if a hot ass girl had done this, would it be cringy? Or is no. it just the fact that he's an overweight guy? So it's like now. Or it's is cringy. it like is it focused on like the the facial hair? Like oh he has mutton chops. I don't think, oh, that, like, I think it's yeah, they're make fun of the whole attire. Yeah, it's like this dude's probably the fucking dopest dude ever that you would sit and have a beer with and enjoy your time. Yeah, he's probably got some cool stories. He probably has awesome stories. Nobody probably talks to him. There's so nothing cringy about, about that. Yeah, fuck you, internet. That dude's sad. Judgmental fucks. You guys being judgmental. Is if what's this cringy. dude watches the D9 show, come come yeah, hang out. Come hang out. We'll get send, you on the send, show. Send us an email, pal. Yeah, we'll get you on the show. You come and hang out with us. You tell me you've never just danced in public by yourself, or sang along to a song. I mean, I have. I see pizza pizza sign swirlers do. I just like her time. little. He's so snarky. Like she knows exactly where it's going. Mm -hmm. Like she's following something. She's like, oh, here it goes, and there it is. She's probably listening to a song. Probably, yeah. Has I mean, record. She's like, like boom! Like the beat just dropped. Like yeah. fuck yeah, dude! I'm just, oh shit! It's not cringy. She's having a good Monday. I do that shit all the time. Yeah. Right, Same. Fuck. I was strike I, three, a strike three tumbler. You guys no, suck at this. I. Oh, you want to tell about the story when you left? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, do this great. too. Okay, so, okay. so. I was uh, I was over here at his place and my friend was coming to pick me up and I was like oh, okay I think he's here so like I said my goodbyes and I went to leave and I went out there and he wasn't my friend wasn't there so I was like hey where are you he's like I think I went to the wrong place I'm like five minutes away I was like okay so I went back inside to go to the bathroom went back upstairs and nobody was here or nobody was in that room so I went to the bathroom and while I was in there I hear Jared come downstairs and he's just like full volume just like. <laughs> And then he starts singing the McDonald's theme, and he's just like, ba -da -ba -ba -da 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 -da. and then I, I come out of the bathroom, and I'm just like, just like laughing, and he's sitting on the chair, and he just looks up at me, and he's like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know you were still here. I was like, well, hold, wait, hold on, like, that wasn't for me. You weren't like trying to be funny. Yeah. He's like, no, I was just doing that. <laughs> Dude, I had no clue. Yeah. That's just what I do. Yeah, some people they I dance, some people sing, some people bebop and do I've had, I've had so many a moment where I've just like I come around a corner doing something bizarre and somebody's just like face to face with me and was, they're like, oh, it was funny. I was like, that wasn't for you. Yeah, I was just doing that. I was just doing <laughs> that. This is me. How did I get my lady pregnant? Yeezy taught me. Yeezy did this. That's a little cringy. That is a little cringy. <laughs> The, the matching like shirts and then like just like easy and yeah the easy like easy taught me like yeah ah, no that's pretty cringy that is that is pretty cringy I will admit yeah that's the first thing that I've seen on cringe like blogs. I've seen like a couple shirts that are like creative or funny but that is like come on that's a little cringy you literally bought a shirt for like a gag yeah. <laughs> it's just for, like a one time gag right yeah. See, that shit's cringy when you guys put little fucking shitty gifts that are overused under the joke already or when people do those little videos of like Oh, uh, feminist cringe, and then in between they put text. I'm like, oh, can't believe this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Wiki face, and then it shows the video. And I'm like, why are you trying to be funny? Like, just let me watch the cringe or, right. like, or the compilation. I don't want to see your shitty input because it's not funny. That's just yeah. I agree. That's what that shit is like. Or when people do the fucking uh, annoying ass videos. Like there was that one that one cringy ass white kid who. You know, the smash that fucking like button if oh, you're awake yeah. right now. And then they they yeah. spliced in like the random dudes who are just like. Right. Staring at the camera, and then it does another clip of him. Uh, a blowjob is better than no job. He's like, I eh, had to do it. And then it's like another black guy. He's just like, staring. like that little side shit is so fucking unfunny. Yeah. Stop. Right. It's, it's God, stop it. It's not stop. funny. It's it's so it's so one person did it and it was funny, and then everybody does it. And it's just not funny anymore. Like, right. Do it yourself. Make yeah. your own reaction. Don't it's so like steal out other context people's. now. It doesn't yeah. make sense. It's, just, it's, it's like, like a six second video. Of like three seconds of the joke and then three seconds of like some shitty other spliced in meme. Right. It's like on Vine when people just cram in as much yeah. like popular jokes as possible and they're like right. uh, t twenty one and like oh fucking bah, 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 and then like oh surprise motherfucker like all this shit in one video. It's like dude calm down. Yeah, it's like, like that's not how you get popular. You don't just cram a chill. bunch of things that are relevant into one video. Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag drama alert. Yeah, this <laughs> is drama nation. I'm your host, SoFlo Antonio. Let me tell you something, boys. You might have hashtag swag, but you'll never have class. I guarantee you, this guy never said this. Sure, he's wearing a fedora and smoking a cigar inside, which 
kind of douchey, but I guarantee he never said that. Yeah, probably not. That's something someone else put over it and said, this is so cringy, look at that. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> that shit too, like when people do the, they take like a celebrity picture and then they just put some quote that's like, that was never said by that yeah. celebrity. Like it'll have a picture of like Cat Williams and it'll just say, you know, like, oh, when Bay's getting out of line and it's Cat Williams just like, yeah. And it's like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. God damn it, you guys suck. <laughs> you make better memes. <laughs> Step up your meme game, internet. Fuck. If walking is good for your health, the postman would be immortal. Are, the, are these just dad jokes? A whale swims all day, only eats fish, only drinks water, and is fat. A rabbit only eats vegetables, runs and hops all day long, and only lives five years. What's the point of these? A tortoise doesn't run and does nothing energetic yet, lives for 450 years. And you tell me to exercise? I don't think so. Yeah, what the fuck? It's so stupid. You can't say other species because, oh, because this species lives for 450 years. Obviously, humans are meant to do the same thing <laughs> as a <laughs> rabbit or a whale. I also like that. That's good, so I, fucking I like stupid. that good for your health implies immortality to this person. Right. Like, oh, if walking is good for your health, the postman should be immortal. Like, well, the postman drives in a fucking car. Yeah. First of all, and right. secondly, you do know that when you work out, your body gets used to a certain amount of work, and then you have to amp it up to get better to like for it to do anything because right. your body gets used to it. So if you walk every day for a year, year two, you're going to be used to that. So if you continue your diet of whatever and only just walk, it's not going to affect you anymore. Yeah. You hit that point. You're stupid. You're cringy. I'm going to hate myself. Fuck you. God, that looks like it sucks. That does look like it sucks uh, so bad. That, that's like the literal it. definition of cringe. Like I know, it, it physically hurts uh, me. I'm like, oh god damn. That, that's that is literally like the only thing cringy on fucking cringe blog. Yeah, what, who the fuck has put this together? Is this just like a playlist that anybody can add to? Because this is not cringy. Like this whole website is not very cringy. The, no, the website is cringy. The things on it are not. The fact that they think this is cringy. It's cringy. Yeah, I just imagine it's just like some fucking mega dweeb who's just like. Everyone sucks. Like, look at a oh, fucking loser. How dare you try to live your life? You're cringy. Yeah. Kill yourself. This maggot. is the only thing that makes me cringe because it actually looks like it's excruciatingly painful. I don't know. That last one was pretty cringy too. No, okay, yeah. but that was because somebody else like it was just sucked. Like, how is? Yeah, that's not cringy. I mean, it sucks. It like, sucks, but that's not cringy. That's just like cringy to me is like when like two like emo kids are sitting there like in a video and they're like, like roaring at each roar. other. Oh my god! Yeah. Have, you, have you seen roar. like that's cringy? Have you seen the video of the the white chick, the scene girl, and she's just like <laughs> roar. It's like that means I love you in dinosaur. Yeah, like, that's like, cringe. <laughs> yeah, that's cringe. Not not. This, literally, they're just like tagging fail. Fucking failure. Cringe king. Cringe king. Hashtag cringe king. Hashtag funny gift. That's like the king of, you're saying this is the king of cringe? It's fail and cringe are not the same thing, people. Cringe, it makes you physically like, oh god, like, you know, cringe like the word, the definition implies. <laughs> <laughs> Step it up. Fuck. How do you cancel a text message? Daddy, miss call daddy. Are you serious? Daddy, answer the phone now. I just sent a nude to my dad. I wish y'all could hear the voicemail my dad left me. Like even that's not cringy. I don't. I'm not cringing. I'm not like, ugh. Like to me, that's just like, oh yeah, you fucked up. Probably shouldn't be sending news then. Or or or, you, or you just staged it again to or get retweets. Sta exactly. Yeah, you just that's, staged it. To get I mean, I've seen so many. It's always in the name too, like Daddy and stuff. Like, like do you really like have in your phone number, like your phone, you have your dad called Daddy? Yeah, and I, like, I mean, and I mean, okay. Parents don't text like this. No dad says, "Are you serious?" Question mark. Question mark. They would just, they, parents fucking half-ass text all the time. Oh, they, yeah. It would be like, he wouldn't even text you. He would just only call you. Like, yeah. dad called once, bullshit. He called 45 times if you sent him nudes on accident. Yeah. Or he would text, he would just text you and say, call me, call me now. And Not, they wouldn't say, did you mean to send me this? Yeah. Like, Unless they're a perv. And all in two minutes. Like, are you serious? Answer the phone now. All caps. That would, dad would take forever to figure that out. <laughs> did, did you mean to send this? Question mark. And why are all the question marks spaced, <laughs> spaced away? It's so fucking true. <laughs> right? Oh my god! I call bullshit on this whole thing. You didn't know. You you made this. You had two phones or something. I you wish y'all could hear the voice when my dad left me. So fucking post it. All right? Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? You can post video. And dude, you okay? I've done embarrassing things. I've never once been like, you know, who would love this? All of my followers and friends on the internet. Yeah. What the? No, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> you know who would laugh at my pain? 
Everyone on Twitter. Yeah, no, fuck your, your, yeah, you're stupid. And how do you accidentally send a nude to your dad unless you have daddy as your boyfriend and daddy as your dad? In which case, that's really fucking stupid. Yeah, then it's just like, fuck you. That's really stupid. Yeah, this is dumb. Like, was it, why even fake these things? Like, so you got 115 retweets. Like, fucking, ooh, sick, dude. Now what? What do you do with that? Everyone thinks you're an idiot. My life is about goals. Here are my four current goals. <laughs> Insects on me naked. Well, hold on. <laughs> to hold a massive python, boa or anaconda, to be eaten by a python, boa or anaconda, to have insects on me naked, and to be beaten up. This guy is like half of our weird fetish video. Yeah, it's like all of him. This guy, right here. My life I still, is about goals. I still wouldn't say this is this is cringy, but it's definitely weird. This is also a weird, it, like the picture isn't attached to the the set of words, so it's like that's not even from. They probably the just took thing. a picture and then they took a caption and yeah. put it over a random picture exactly. of a kid. Gotta do it for so. the, the retweets. Gotta do it for the tweets, man. Gotta do it for the reads. I gotta get my 15 seconds of fame with my reblogs. Yeah, give us some actual fucking cringe, man. This is stupid. I can't wait till this is reality when I'm, when I'm with Jesus finally and haven't given him a big hug. Like, how, how is that cringy? That's just like, someone's people like... People are Christian, I mean, that happens. You're basically saying Christians are cringy. Like, so so every religion that you don't agree with is cringy? Like, this, this we are is, not impressed by your This is cringe. not... This is cringe blog dot Tumblr. This is supposed to be the cringe of Tumblr. I've seen some pretty fucking cringy Tumblr posts, and this is garbage. Yeah, I would know a thing or two about cringe. This is not cringy at all. This is fucking amateur, low-level horse shit. You heard Step it? your game up, cringe blog. Yeah. I'm calling you out, cringe blog. Yeah. I'm calling you out, cringe. Everyone, just send cringe blog this video. I don't give a fuck. This is lame-ass foo-foo shit. Step up your game. Get some actual cringes on here. Actual cringes, bitch. This is all just dumb. And with that, I don't, I, we're, yeah, I'm just done, no, man. No, I'm, I'm over fucking it. done. It's not, not even. A single one of these was. I, mean, I um, never, like, actually cringe, except for the kid getting the fucking ramp in his back. That was cringy because I was like, oh, that hurts. It made you cringe physically because that's what that word That's means. what cringe does. But this is not cringy. This is just fucking amateur bull. Uh, bull Shit. Though. There's never going to be a part two of this, so. Get fucked, cringe blog. Yeah, unless you can actually get some cringy shit on your blog, then we might do it. Otherwise. Go fuck yourself.